Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So many of you were interested in how I parted off my knotless braids in my previous knotless braids video. So today I decided to bring you guys that tutorial. So as previously mentioned, I always use a rat tail comb whenever I'm doing knotless braids or any braids that I do. It just gives me more control over the comb and allows me to get a more precise part so once I part the hair from ear to ear, I'm just going to part off the sections that I'm going to be working with. And then I'm going to clip the sections off, um, skipping a section just so I can see about how many braids I'm going to be working with and kind of keep the sections, you know, parted off. So in this first row, I was able to get about four braids and this depends upon the nape of your client's head. Like everybody's nape is different. So depending upon the size of the nape that will determine how many braids will be in the first row. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next row and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to, you know, part the hair from ear to ear. And then I like to take some product and smooth it on the hair just to give me a little bit more control of the hair because, you know, her hair is kind of, um, it's blow dried so it's not as weighed down, I guess, it's kind of still flowy. So just to give me a little bit more control of her hair, I like to use product. Then I'm just going to make sure that part is as neat as I can get it. So as I begin to part off the sections in the second row, I like to part in the middle of the braids from the previous row just to stagger the braids and make sure they're not directly on top of each other and this just makes everything more full and doesn't give a definite part in the back of her head. Depending upon the amount of braids that you were able to get in the first row, that will determine the amount of braids that you will be getting in your second row. And it's typically one more than the amount of braids that were in the first row. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another visual on me doing the knotless braids and I slowed it down quite a bit for you guys hoping you guys can get a better visual on exactly what I'm doing. So first we went ahead and grabbed that piece to the left crossing the hair over and to the right and then at this point we're going to go ahead and add our extension piece and we're going to add it to our pointer finger and thumb section proceeding to braid And here I'm just tucking on her hair a little bit just to reinforce the braid, making sure that everything is secure and not loose. And I actually decided to let you guys watch the video instead of me doing a voiceover this time because I know it can be a little distracting. But if you need a voiceover, definitely check out my previous video that I did on knotless braids and I'll leave it down in the description as well as a key card above. 
And if you have any additional questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely answer them for you guys. So until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.
say it like that If I hate you then find someone new Baby but you know I never will No So I choke you down just like a Say sorry.